I can hardly believe it. Adobe has been working their tails off. And now they tell us that they are working on the Canon Raw Light integration. And you can check it out in Adobe's beta form right here. It works fantastic. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. And it'll be here hopefully just in time for the Canon R5 so we can be editing 8K Raw soon. Man, let's check it out. It's enormous. 1658. And here is the anomaly at 1700. Enough with this anomaly horseshit. We didn't see this thing coming. What kind of damage are we? Damage? A total, sir. It's what we call a global killer. My God. What do we do? Hey guys, welcome back. It's Adam Grumbo. And today we're talking about Adobe once again. Now, last video, we talked about how Adobe integrated hardware acceleration with NVIDIA to produce three times faster exports for H.265. That is fantastic. Today, I discover that they are finally implementing Canon's RAW codec into the next release. Check this out. For those few of us who have been shooting on the Canon 1DX Mark III, the ability to shoot 5.4K RAW has been an amazing feature that most of us really can't use. Now it's integrated into Adobe's beta version, which means you can import the CRM files and edit the metadata in order to control color temperature, tint, and exposure. Also fantastically amazing is they have Canon's favorite color profiles, including my favorite wide dynamic range. So when you shoot in RAW, you still have this much dynamic range left available to you, which means that you are very rarely ever going to blow anything out. You do have to take precautions in order to protect noise in your shadows, just like when shooting in log. But now we finally have the ability. So I went outside with my skateboard and 5D Mark III to shoot some things just so we can test it out. As you can see with the waveform right here, we are getting an outstanding amount of latitude. Bright sunny day with harsh shadows pointing away from the sun. And we have plenty of room before we clip our shadows or our highlights. Now these files are still pretty beefy and have a hard time playing smoothly, but that's because they're massive files. And right now the beta does default your white balance to 15,000. So I just hit the reset button up here to get it back to a normal range. I also thought I'd take some time to see what it looks like when I'm overexposing and underexposing a couple of shots. So these three here, I have the histogram on on the camera and I have exposed this one all the way to the right on the histogram just before I clip. This one exposed right in the middle and this one all the way to the left of the histogram before we clip the shadows. Now like I said it defaults it right now in the beta to 15,000 Kelvin. We don't want that. Now this is exciting because I think the raw capability is now going to be here just in time for the Canon R5. So our waveform has as much dynamic range as anybody could possibly want. And if you adjust your exposure, you can see we've got no shortage of sky and plenty of shadow detail under the bridge. Let's see what it looks like here. This is exposed in the middle. If we play with the exposure again, we're going to get a better look at what's under the bridge. Very clean zero noise whatsoever our sky is still present right there it can tell us that the sky is blue and that is fantastic to know and let's look at our underexposed one right now you can already see that there is some noisy spots underneath the bridge on the shadows and our highlights are drastically protected that's great, but if you're shooting in this kind of format with all this dynamic range, expose to the right, as they say. Expose as far up as you can with your highlights before they clip. 
and that'll give you a much better shadow retention. You can see that we've got some noise in the shadows here. So when shooting in RAW, either expose it properly or expose it a little bit to the right, meaning a little brighter than you normally would. So what's it like to color grade something like this? I don't know, let's try it out. Let's throw it on wide dynamic range. You can go into your curves. Let's bring some of that shadow back into the picture. I think our highlights are just fine. Don't even really need to bring those up because we don't have any super bright spots in the image. I'll bring our midtones down. But as you can see, since we're in beta, our white balance is still crazy, so just hit the reset button. It'll help bring us back there. Uh, maybe a little warmer than that. So we're still missing some saturation. I'm gonna bump that saturation up. Maybe a little more contrast, huh? We still haven't lost our sky. There it is, there it is, there it is. Maybe we can grab a secondary on it. See it well, look at that. Absolutely stellar. Can we pull some more? Let's find out. Man, I think it pretty much got it all on the first go. Let's bring our exposure down. Let's give it a little bit of blue, a little bit of saturation. Man alive. That retains a lot of data. Looks like we're clipping our blues here. There, and they're back. That is something special. You're gonna have to fiddle around a little bit with this so that you don't have a halo around your leaves. Maybe still a little bit yellow, but I think you're getting the point. There's some, this is not an accurate histogram there. With the amount you can beat up Canon's raw light, that is something special, something special, which I can't wait to really get in into more depth with. Huh, that's exciting, huh? And it's coming just in time for the Canon R5 to appear. Woo! Look, look at this, look at this, look at this. Look at all that shadow detail under the bridge. Fantastic, and did not overexpose our sky and we can push and pull and pull and push and it's still not generating any sort of um, squares or digital artifacts or anything like that so man canon is doing a miracle here miracle and of course after you do your color correction and get fancy and throw a lut get crazy with your luts this is not accurate because it's still in beta form. No big deal, no big deal. Man, you can do some nuts stuff. <laughs> this is great, this is great. It's like a dream come true. Finally, everything we've ever wanted, we have it. There's really no more excuses. There's really no more excuses when you're talking about being a filmmaker these days. And pretty soon we're gonna have 8K raw that you can edit on your home computer in Adobe Premiere and export three times faster uh, using hardware acceleration. What a time to be a filmmaker. Anyways, if you're, uh, if you're learning any tips or tricks watching these videos, please do subscribe. I'm going to be uploading a ton of videos this summer and I want you to be part, I want you to be part of the community. I have uploaded a sample Canon RAW file, which should be the same as what comes out on the R5. You can start imagining what it's going to be like. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Hit that bell notification to be notified when any new videos arrive. So I guess I'm going to get back to work. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.